<sighs> Yo, what's going on, everybody? So, um, you know, it was day three of the draft, which means that now the draft is finally over, and um, I'm about to give you guys my official review on what I think the uh, about how the Bears did. You know what I mean? Um, so without further ado, let's uh, start with the first round. So in round number one, we had Justin Fields quarterback. You guys, I mean, I made a video about that already. I made two videos about that. Oh, man. I was so fucking happy about the whole Justin Fields thing. I'm thinking, like, we finally got a franchise quarterback and, like, all this shit and blah, blah, blah. I mean, just go watch the video. Like, I, I explain all of it in there. A plus. A fucking plus on that pick. It was so phenomenal. So then you come up to round two here. We had this guy named Tevin Jenkins, who's an offensive lineman from Oklahoma State. Um, this was a phenomenal pick in the second round because some people thought this guy was going to go up in the second round, or excuse me, my, my bad, the first round. But Ryan Pace, the Bears, were able to trade up again in the second round with the Carolina Panthers to get this fucking guy too. And I was like, so like, I'm up here, I'm thinking like, man, we got fucking Justin Fields as our quarterback, right? And then we got this dude, Tevin Jenkins, who's a big motherfucker, dude. This is, he, he ain't fucking around, you know what I mean? And um, we got both these dudes now, and I'm just like, damn, dude. Like, the Bears, they ain't fucking around either, you know what I mean? Like, this fucking team is for real. Like, when I saw the draft, I'm like, dude, like, all I asked for really was a quarterback, you know what I mean? Which we got Justin Fields. I was so, so fucking happy. And then now they they, 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 they they trade up and get this fucking guy. And I'm just like, damn. Like, the Bears, man. Like, they're fucking... This may be the greatest draft the Chicago Bears have ever had, ever. You know what I mean? I mean, I have to go back and look at, like, their history and shit. But, I mean, dude, this fucking draft, dude. Holy fuck. It blows my fucking mind that they did this damn good. Um... So, with, with trades and shit going on, they didn't get a third or a fourth round pick, but you go up to the fifth round, they got a, a, a guy named Larry Borum, offensive tackle out of Mizzou. Um, a lot of people were saying, this guy's fucking good, because this kind of gets like into more like the, I guess, the sleeper rounds and shit like that, when you come up to like five or six or whatever. But, apparently, uh, everyone was saying that this is a great-ass pick and shit, so... Um, uh, I really don't know a whole lot about these guys, but I saw it, I looked it up and everything, I looked up these players and everything, and I'm just kind of like, man, I mean, another offensive lineman, great, and then you come up to the sixth round, you get Khalil Herbert running back out of Virginia Tech, great fucking pick, you know what I mean, we need that shit, Daz Newsom receiver out of North Carolina, and then uh, Thomas Graham, a defensive tackle out of BYU, um, so the sixth round, I mean, we had three six round fucking draft picks. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is pretty crazy. And he comes to the seventh round. We had this guy. I'm sorry, I can't really pronounce his name, but it's like Kairis Tonga, defensive tackle out of BYU. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, but uh, as far as I know, I mean, this is pretty fucking good. You know what I mean? When I looked at the reviews of the Chicago Bears on day one, day two, day three, day one, they got an A+, plus. day two, they got an A, and day three, they got an A also. And I'm like, dude, the Bears totally stole this fucking draft, man. Like, like, like they won this fucking draft, man. And I ain't saying that just because I'm a fucking Bears fan, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, when you look at the other team's fucking picks, and you look at who the fucking Bears be picking up in here, you know what I mean? Like, this fucking team... Dude, they fucking, they won this shit, man. It is just, it's not even close. The fucking Bears won this shit. And, I mean, the the, the, the quarterback and the offensive line, and it's like, dude, that's, what's, that's what is the best part about it. The QB and getting those two offensive linemen, one up in the second round and one up in the fifth for the offensive line. And having Justin Fields, our quarterback, dude, last night, man, I was looking at all these Justin Fields fucking highlights and i'm thinking to myself i'm like man that's our fucking quarterback i pulled a fucking uh who who the fuck was that um t.o terrones i was like that's my fucking quarterback bro <laughs> man i was like oh I was so happy and then i looked up this game i believe if correct me if i'm wrong but in january of you know this year there was a game between ohio state 
and Clemson. So it was our guy, Justin Fields, against fucking uh, Trevor Lawrence, who was like, you know, he went over first overall to the Jaguars. In that game, I don't remember how many yards it was by each quarterback, but Justin Fields threw six quarter, or excuse me, quarterbacks. He threw six touchdowns and one pick, whereas Trevor Lawrence, he threw two touchdowns, had a one rushing touchdown and then one pick. And I, I believe that final score was like 49 to 28 or something like that, Ohio State. So it's kind of like, dude, our fucking quarterback whooped uh Trevor Lawrence. You know what I mean? And like uh, like, like I'm not trying to think I'm not trying to sit here and say like, oh, every time we face Trevor Lawrence in the NFL, the Bears are gonna fucking beat him because um there was this game, there was, I think it was a playoff game in college where Baker Mayfield went up against Patrick Mahomes, and Mahomes threw, well, one quarterback threw six touchdowns, the other one threw seven, and I believe Baker Mayfield won, but in the NFL, we all knew who's the better quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, and I ain't saying Baker Mayfield bad or anything, I mean, Mayfield's a pretty damn good quarterback, I, I'll say that, you know what I mean, but what I am trying to say is it's like, Justin Fields could come up in the NFL and be a pretty damn good quarterback. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he ain't going to be better than fucking uh, the Clemson dude, Trevor Lawrence. But, I mean, dude, Justin Fields, man, I really, really hope this guy's the real fucking deal, man. Like, I really do. I'm really ha having high hopes. Um, but, yeah, dude, I I'm, I'm really excited about the team now. I'm very happy with this team. Overall, I'm going to give this – I'm going to say that this team – in the draft is an A plus. You know what I mean? Like a ten out of ten. They did they did pretty much perfect. Like there's nothing I think they would have done that would have like not been perfect. You know what I mean? I, I think it's great. Um but yeah, that's really all I got, guys. Um so you know, throw up in the comments, like what do you guys think about the draft? Is there anything you guys think that the Bears could have done better, or you think they were perfect, or, or, or anything you guys want to say up in the comments, man, I think they barely are going to be next year, and shit, um, yeah, guys, just anything you want about the Bears up in the comments, uh, hit, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, please, and hit that, you know, bell to get notifications and shit, and all that stuff, man, but, uh, I mean, honestly, guys, I really got nothing for you, but until next time, guys, uh, I'll see you, uh, I really got nothing for you, so I'll see you later.